Hi guys, I'm Paul from Love Logs and today I'm going to show you how to use the wood burner 2.0 in the Gosney Rock Box. Let's go. So pretty simple fire kit today. I've got some extra long matches, natural fire lighters and our hardwood kindling that we grade for Gosney Rock Box. So my wood burner's fitted. Let's pull out the fuel tray and get it loaded up. So the key elements with the wood burner 2.0, as with all small wood fired ovens, is about airflow and regular refueling. So I'm going in with two bits of kindling. I'm going to put a fire lighter in the middle and add one more small piece of kindling. So I'm going to get that lit, get it back in the oven. So my fire lighter is lit, let's get this back in the oven. Just got to adjust a bit in the tray. We're in, close the hatch and away. And just to show you the timing start to finish, I'm gonna start a stopwatch. So I'm about three minutes in, got that beautiful wood-fired flame and that means my kindling's caught and we're in business. I'm about four minutes after lighting and I'm just gonna see where we're up to. Yeah, you can see the flame licking out, the kindling's caught, there's no room for any more fuel, so we'll just shut the door, keep an eye on it. I think there's a couple of things that people get wrong with the wood burner. Um, people expect it to be super easy. And the bottom line is this is a small pizza oven like any of the other small pizza ovens on the market. This takes management. So that means every three or four minutes you're checking in on the fuel. Uh, that's really normal with a pizza oven this size and that's not exclusive to Rockbox. So you've just got to get your head around that. Um, and then I think the second is timing. Um, there's a lot of PR in the pizza oven market at the moment about cooks pizza in 15 minutes or be ready to cook in 20 minutes or whatever that is. And the reality of it is, is you, you can be cooking pizza that quickly with a lot of the small ovens, but actually you're better off investing some time. You want the stone to be absolutely saturated with heat. And what that means is every time you cook a pizza, you're gonna lose less heat to the pizza or the stone is gonna recover quicker. Um, and so investing maybe 40, 45 minutes actually in getting that stone saturated is the best thing you can do to make your night easier. So I'm at about seven minutes, eight minutes. I'm gonna go in for a fuel check. Yeah, so you can see we've got loads of room in there to add some new fuel, so we're going to do that now. Not too much, it's not overloaded, there's plenty of airflow, and back in. So I'm at about 10 minutes now, and I really do want to pump some heat into this. So I'm opening the fuel tray, and this is where the grading for Rockbox comes in. We cut this so you can just slot it right in without taking the fuel tray out each time, and shut the door. And the thermometer in the rock box is a good guide, as you can see, 100 degrees there. But actually my stone temperature, 185 already. So always useful to have one of these. So you can see I've got a gusty day today, uh, just getting some flames drawn out the back of the oven. It's no big deal, it's perfectly normal. Of course, that means the oven's gonna heat up a little bit slower. So you've just got a bit, a bit more patient, really. The heat's coming out the back of the oven instead of being channeled up and over the stone. But you know, it just is what it is. Wind affects wood-fired ovens. 16 and a half minutes, gonna go in with some more fuel. You can see I was probably a little bit late with that top up. The rolling flames died back. That's because my wood's burned down to embers. So you want to keep that rolling flame as big as possible. That's going to speed up the process. Here we go. So I've only left it another minute, minute and a half, and I'm going in with more fuel. It's been three more minutes. And for now, I don't need to top up. Yeah, so see, that's what I mean. Look at that rolling flame. That oven is gonna be rocketing up to temperature. Another couple of minutes. There's room in there, so that's fuel. Another comparison, so that's reading 200C. Stone on the top, 320. I'm at 30 minutes. My flame's gone out again, so time to refuel. I'm at 32 minutes and I don't want to let that flame go out again, so we're refueling. Having to squeeze it in a little bit, but all good. 
So as I said, 32 minutes, stone temperature, 400, 450 at the back, 280 at the front, 350 to 370 in the middle, temperature at the top of the oven, 590 degrees, so we're really hot. 34 minutes. I'm at 38 minutes and I'm getting pretty close now. I'm approaching 40 minutes and the center of my stone is now at 400-ish degrees C. So that's really Neapolitan pizza temperatures. If I was just cooking one pizza now, I'd go ahead and I'd bake it, but bottom of the stone is 350C, and this guide is now what's gonna tell me when my stone is saturated. When I'm at 400 plus at the bottom of the stone, that's when I'm gonna cook pizza. Got 42 minutes. So I've passed 45 minutes, I said 45 minutes, I'm not there yet, but this is wood fire. I'm gonna keep going and we'll be there very soon. So I'm at nearly 52 minutes, a bit longer than I thought, but it's been a blustery day today and that does cause some issues with the rock box. So you just have to be a bit more patient. I'm gonna give one more fuel top up and go check the stone temperature because I think we're ready to go. So you can see my gauge is reading there at 420, 430C, and that's the bottom of the stone. So that means the stone is completely saturated at that temperature. Let's go and check the top. So you can see center of the stone running at about 430. Front of the stone, a bit cooler, high 300s, but that is perfect Neapolitan temperature. Let's go. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully that's helped and you can see that using the wood burner is actually quite a straightforward process despite being an investment in time. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you wanna see on the Rockbox and I'll see you soon.